YouTube, what is up? AD here with US Squads. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am, uh, well, you may have seen episode 69. Uh, if you haven't, please watch it. Pause this video, go to episode 69, watch it, and then come back to this video. Uh, it's been about nine days since I, made, since I posted that video, and we are in trouble. There are some scary things happening regarding the assault weapons ban of 2013. So we're gonna talk about those things, and then I'm gonna I, I need your help. If you're a firearms enthusiast, a sportsman, a hunter, believe in the Second Amendment right, I need your help. We as the firearms community need your help to stop something that's going to be just atrocious if it goes down. But we have a voice and we shall fight for our right to bear arms. It's our Second Amendment right and there's things that are happening that you should be aware of and you need to be proactive in helping us fix this there's, there's a solution you can't panic but we need to be uh, we need to be responsive and we need to take action okay I'm gonna have a few links on the description I want you to click those links as you can to just get educated and caught up on on the scenario link number one will be uh, a link to the military arms channel um, one of my I subscribe to him I've been watching his videos for years uh, he has a great video regarding the assault weapons ban of 2013. He's going to cover a lot of inf informative details that I'm not going to cover. Mine's more of a a rah rah video. I'm here to, to to just get you guys crazy and stirred up and 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 to take action in a positive manner. Um, so we're going to talk about those things. There is a senator of California by the name of Diane Feinstein. That's uh, has some proposed legislation that is absolutely terrifying. Okay, she wants to take your Second Amendment right and blow it up. Yeah. Let me let me reiterate what she wants to do. She wants to take your she wants to take your Second Amendment right and she wants to just blow it up. Knee jerk reaction to the tragedies, using it as a smokescreen to in, enact a restrictive policy for firearm ownership. It's atrocious what she wants to do. And you need to be aware of what she wants to do, and then we need to work together to, to solve this problem. Okay, let me, let me explain this. Here, here we go. This is from her website. Following summary of 2013 legislation, ban the sale, transfer, importation, manufacturing of 120 specifically named firearms, certain other semi-automatic rifles, handguns, shotguns, that can accept a detachable magazine and have one or more military characteristics. Semi-automatic rifle and handguns with fixed magazines that can accept more than 10 rounds. Strengthen, strengthen the 1994 assault weapons ban, moving from two characteristic tests to one characteristic test. Banning large capacity feeding devices capable of accepting more than 10 rounds. And then I want you to, this is really scary, okay? Uh, grandfathering in previous owners, but you're going to have to register your firearm as an NFA item. That is scary. Okay, let me explain what that means. Okay, one, she's going to ban 120 specifically named firearms. Uh, that means Glock, Sig, Colt. I mean, think of how many firearms you can name off your top of your head. She wants to ban 120 of them with military characteristics. Uh, a firearm is a firearm, lady. Bullets, semi-automatic, box magazine. I mean, that military characteristic kind of encompasses all modern weapons. What, you want me to have a bolt-action pistol with a five-round top-loading uh, cart, uh, internal magazine? Are you freaking kidding me? This is a defensive pistol. I need to be, I need to have equal or more firepower to bad people. You can't restrict this crap. Are you freaking kidding me? And I already talked about this in episode 69. 10 rounds of mag, 10 round magazines. This is a 17 round standard capacity magazine for my semi-automatic defensive pistol. You're going to limit my defensive capabilities to 10 rounds? When the bad guy has 17 rounds, I have 10 rounds, even though I'm most likely a better shot, I'm at a disadvantage. As a good law-abiding citizen, you're nuts, you're crazy. 
you are you're this doesn't even make any sense and then the NFA item is very scary so this is what that means NFA items like a short barrel rifle short barrel shotgun a class 3 you have to fill out paperwork background check fingerprint card send it to a local law enforcement agency local sheriff then send all the paperwork to the ATF eight to nine months later you get approval okay we as firearms enthusiasts have bared with the paperwork to deal with suppressors, short barrel rifles, and assault and fully automatics. Okay, we've done that. But you, the, uh, we're we're kind of a different breed. Those who are legally obtaining these type of firearms. But you're going to make every American citizen register an ATF item. I mean, how many multi millions of weapons are there and firearms? How many pistols are there? You're going to expect state agencies to spend the next five years dealing with this? Dedicated funding to the ATF to implement registration. Dedicated funding from where? Fiscal cliff, financial crisis. Obama's going to print more money? Where are you going to get the money, lady? It doesn't make any sense. This isn't going to help things. You can't, I mean, let's look at the, let's look at the big picture. Because, you know, I don't think Diane Feinstein, uh, Senator of California, has looked at the big picture. What is the financial repercussions of this Firearms Act? That you're going to require every American citizen to register and, and pay a tax stamp, which could be up to $200 per firearm, to register their firearm so you know exactly what they have in their house. So if, in the case you pass new laws and want to come and take their weapons away, you know, you have a list. Okay, who are the hundreds of ATF agents we have to pay? Multi millions, if not a half a billion dollars of expense to set up these new agencies to to register all these weapons and to keep a database. And then the financial consequences to the local gun shops, the sporting goods stores that sell firearms. You're going to ban 120 specifically named firearms, including my also loved Glock company. That I love my to buy for my you know I like my semi-automatic pistols. You're gonna restrict these companies and American companies like Remington, Bushmaster, and the countless AR companies, Bravo Company. I mean, come on, what are you gonna do? You're gonna cripple the firearms industry. You're gonna cripple sporting goods stores, and you're gonna take away a chain, an economic chain. You're gonna literally decimate that industry. So people are gonna lose jobs. Transport companies are going to stop shipping things. There's a repercussion for everything you do, and you got to think things through. This sh this is a knee-jerk reaction. This isn't going to solve anything. The 1994-2004 uh, weapons ban, the Columbine shooting happened in 1999. Good job, Clinton. You did good there. Crazy is crazy. We're going to have bad eggs. 350 plus Americans. There's going to be some that are broken. Those people are going to do bad things and what can and we can do there's better things we can do but what you're doing is you're making it very difficult for me to go you know I, I get I got a Christmas bonus I want to go buy me a new rifle and I can't do that you're gonna military characteristics come on really military characteristics kind of lines up with every modern firearm on the planet idiot God people are stupid so now that you kind of have some information it's time to it's time to act okay I need your help I really need your help two things I would love you to do you have to do something don't sit on your hands and think that we're gonna do all the heavy lifting if millions of Americans stand up we can block this we need to stop this this is stupid okay Banning high capacity magazines, banning the importation and sell and local manufacturing of 130 or 120 specifically named items. Are you kidding me? Is this the America you want to live in? One where you have, I mean, the Second Amendment right to bear arms is going to be shot through, shot through the roof. Do you care? I do. I am. I care. Now I hope you guys care. So what we need is we need two things. One, there's going to be a link to send your local co congressperson and the President of the United States a message that you will fight for your right to bear arms. That is important imperative that we have that ability and that right. 
Eric, we need to stand up. You cannot sit down on this one. So go to that link. You can copy and paste our generic message, and that message was from the Military Arms Channel. I'm just going to copy and paste it. I hope he doesn't mind. I'm sure he doesn't because we're spreading the word. Copy and paste that into the message box and send. It'll take you one minute to do it. The second thing you can do is you can um, join the NRA. I don't get paid one penny from the NRA. I'm not sponsored by anybody at this point. 25 bucks, one year membership. That will help put some legislative power, help them fight this ridiculous bill. Okay, we need to stand up. This is going to happen in January. It's going to happen soon. So don't think that it's not going to happen. It's happening. It is a big deal. Okay. Lastly, if you do at least send a message to Congress, I'm going to trust you guys that you're doing this. You send a message, at least send a message to Congress. If not, and if you can, do the NRA thing if you're not an NRA member already. Send a message to Congress with clicking that link. In the comments below, write me a message of what firearm you, you your favorite firearm that you that you own currently or your dream gun. Okay. I'm gonna award. I'm gonna draw out randomly and award two. I only have two. Um, I've been kind of saving these. Genuine Hostess Twinkies. I'm gonna bubble wrap it and I'm gonna ship it to your home address because it's legal to ship these anywhere. Uh, and this, these are applicable to the lower 48 states. I'm sorry, I can't ship this to Russia. I don't want to spend $100 on shipping, sending a Twinkie to Russia. But lower, I'll ship anywhere to the lower 48 states, whoever wins these drawings, a bona fide hostess Twinkie. I know it's kind of a corny gift, but guess what? How cool is it that they say that, hey, some dude on YouTube gave me a Twinkie, a genuine hostess Twinkie. That's pretty cool, I think. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Please take action. Take this seriously. Watch this video from the Military Arms Channel. He goes into in depth. Uh, it covers a lot, a lot more depth than I do. I just kind of just, you know, I'm giving you guys a little rah rah here. I mean, we pay these. In 2010, we paid the senator 174 thousand um, dollars. Who knows what they make now? Probably over 200 thousand taxpayer money to uh, do good things. And I think uh, the state of California is, needs a rebate because I think she's overpaid. Because anybody, I, I would think that somebody who is intelligent would think of a better solution to uh, to combat the issue with broken people. There are plenty of good American citizens that are law-abiding and own firearms. We're talking a lot of good citizens. There are going to be a few bad citizens that do bad things. There will be wolves out there. But your heart this legislation harms good law-abiding citizens it doesn't apply nominally maybe it does but it really doesn't apply to the, the, the majority why why this is insane you don't think bad people can get firearms they, they can if they want to if there's a will there's a way this just prohibits good law-abiding citizens from getting normal firearms that we're used that we want to buy and and, and use as sporting and competition shooting and all that stuff. This is insane. Anyway, that's it. That's my rant. You guys can do something. Don't sit on your asses. Come on, guys. We need your help. If you don't do something, we might be we might be sitting here looking, going, what the hell happened? It's going to happen fast. So right, click on that link. Send a message to your senators. If you can and have the uh, financial ability to do so, please join the NRA. They're there to help us out. And then that's it. Comment below your dream firearm. I'm going to send two Twinkies out to two winners. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.